guys to come from allowing uh, 80 points in the first half to only allowing, uh, what, 38 in the second half. What did you see the, the big difference was? Was it just that it looked like you guys had a whole different type of energy that second half? Yeah, I mean, our physicality picked up. I thought we were better defensively. And then in the first half, they just ran them wherever they wanted to go. It was our it was our point of attack defense, one-on-one, -on -one, to straight line drives and blow bys, um, but no resistance, no physicality. And, um, you know, it's, it's tough to win like that. So they had us in a scramble mode, X and out, low man coming over, and we just couldn't control the ball. And so we challenged our guys at halftime, like, we know we can score the basketball, but can we get stops? Like, can we... You know, pick our physicality up. Can we guard our man one on one? If you guard your man one on one, the help defense is easier. But if you're getting blown by, it's just too hard. And so I give our guys credit. In that second half, you know, outside of the first maybe six minutes of that third quarter, after that, we really started defending. We really got into them um, aggressively. And um, that changed the game. And so um, that's, that's who we got to be. And that's who we've been for the last eight, ten games. And in that second half, you know, we really got back to it. So I mean, you guys won by two points. Norm was a plus 19. Russ was a plus 18. You stuck with those guys pretty much the entirety of the rest of the way once they checked in. What did you see from those two that allowed that trend to take place? The energy. Um, the energy Russ brought, the energy Norm bought, and then, you know, shot making, being an attack early in, in transition. But I thought Mace was great as well. I thought Mace, you know, really um, brought a lot of energy. Amir was huge. Um, T-Man and Mir making those two threes at the end. So, like, it was a total team effort, you know, like I said. But our bench came in and gave us, you know, a lot of pop, you know. And so, um, from Russ, Amir, um, um, Mace, and um, it was just it was just big for us. And so, um, that was a big win for us. I just wanted to confirm first that James is, is fine. Yes. Um, and then when Paul... Um, has a couple shots going in the fourth early. Uh, I saw you kind of signal to rest, just let PG bring the ball up and kind of uh, initiate from there. I guess how much how much fun is it, first of all, just to have a guy who can just throw the ball to and say, all right, go get the bucket. Second, um, when did you realize he was kind of on it? No, I mean, he, he played a good game, you know, all the way through. And I just thought, you know, um, at the end of the third quarter, he usually comes out. And, you know, with, you know, James not, you know, being smart, not being to go back in, you know, we just said, he said, "Let me, let me go." I said, "You sure?" He's like, "Yeah, let, uh, let me, let me play." And so, I said, "All right, cool." And um, went with him in the fourth quarter. I was debating a couple of times to get him out for two minutes and bring him back, but um, he said he was good. He said he was okay. And I mean, the huge game he had tonight, we needed every bit of it. Just rebounding, um, the big block shot at the end, you know, the big, you know, the game winner, you know. So he was huge for us, you know, all night. Just looking at what you did defensively. Not to change the game. I mean, you defended with facing and then you went small for that last three minutes. Um, that last 10 over on us, I really want to key in on that. What did you see with Terrence and, and that group that you that you needed to execute there? Yeah, um, Mace came in did a good job. And, you know, we had Mace up to touch more and more of a, a corral blitz. And they hurt us a couple of times, you know, with that, you know, later on in, in that fourth quarter. And so then just going with T-Man to try to switch all those triggers, make them play one-on-one. -on -one. And um, if we had a fire, we'd be ready to fire. But um, just being able to switch all that, you know, keeping the body on the body, not really blitzing, and let them have four and three on the backside. And so um, we just adjusted to that. And like I said, it was good for us. Two more. Sorry, what changed for you guys when you got down 26? And why did it take so long to wow. get that? There we go. <laughs> yeah. They was playing great basketball. <clears throat> JB, JB had them. What? What changed for you guys? Um, was able to get some stops, get out in transition. Um, but I thought defensively, you know, I thought we really did a good job with our point of attack defense. You know, in that first half, um, it was just straight line drives, one on one. Like it wasn't pick and rolls, it was one on one, short closeouts, guys raising up for three. And it put you in, you know, closeout positions where you can't guard the ball one on one. So I thought, you know, at halftime, we challenged our guys listen, they got 80 points, 40 and 40, you know, in the first and second quarter. That's way too many. And we know they can score the basketball. And JB does a great job running a lot of good stuff to, to keep you all balanced, but we're better than that. And so <clears throat> our guys did a good job in that second half of just taking the challenge one-on-one -on -one first. And then when the pick and rolls and things like that came, we was able to get into the ball, get into the body, and we were over the top and, and not making it so easy for them. Thank you, Coach. <laughs> and, and Coach, um, I look at this win, and I look at the Denver win as character wins for you guys, especially to be able to get them done without Kawhi. Without having him for the foreseeable future, no timetable, for you guys to go get wins against two teams that plan to be playing late into the playoffs, what does it say about your team? 
um, resilient and, and, and we're capable. You know, we can do it every night. And so um, starting to get our rotations back, you know, guys are healthy outside of, you know, outside of um, Kawhi. But just getting our rotations back, getting our, our the way we play, you know, when we play, getting that back, the style of basketball. And, um, you know, it's fun to play that way when you're getting stops, getting out in transition, guys are getting shots, the ball's moving. And um, it was a huge win for us, you know, to get the 50 wins from where we started, you know, it's huge. And so I told those guys that after the game, like, you know, that's a great mark. And we're going to continue to keep getting better and um, going into the playoffs. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Thank you. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.